Well, hello there, fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome! So today's video, we're going to start off 2023, catching a couple of epics. Uh, we're going to be catching the epics on location 2 of the Japan 2 DLC. That's these little goldfish here. We're going to catch those guys first. And then we're going to head over to location 3 and catch the giant squid. So let's go ahead and, and uh, pull up our map here. We're going to be going over to Japan Part 2. Location 2, and let's go do some fishing. Okay, so here we are on Location 2. And let's bring up our fish OPD here. On this location, we're going to be catching the Ranchu Goldfish. Uh, we're going to be using a crawfish, uh, like most of the epics that we're going to catch on the Japan DLC 2. And, of course, the depth is on top, so we're going to be fishing on the top. Um, we're going to be looking for very tiny swirls. Um, just little bitty swirls. So let me grab the line here. Get over to my crawfish. And I'm going to look around to see if we got any swirls. A lot of times when I do some talking, my swirls disappear. Uh, I'll wait for just a second to see if any more pop up. Uh, a lot of times you'll uh, get swirls and then they'll go away and then they'll come right back. So there's a tiny one right there. That might be just the right size actually. Nope, oh, instant red line. Might catch this on our very first cast. Yep, I believe that's probably it. Very tiny splash. And there it is. The Ranchu goldfish, and it happens to be my personal best. Looks like I've got about 20 of them so far. Alright, we'll go ahead and keep that guy. And since we caught that one so fast, let's go ahead and jump to location number three. And we'll just make this a two for one special. So let's go ahead and head to location three. Okay, so location three, we're going to be going after the giant squid. And to catch that one, yes, you've guessed it, the crawfish. We're gonna be using the crawfish. And we're gonna be going after bubbles. This is gonna be on the bottom. So we're gonna be looking for some bubbles. And let's grab our line here. Let's give us a long line, pressing our thumbstick down twice. Um, unfortunately, this is one of the maps that is extremely hard to see bubbles on, um, mainly because of all the, the glare that you get. Um, but uh, yeah, you just kind of look around and see if you see any bubbles. I don't see any. I'm going to do a refresh. Hard to expert. And I'll look around to see if we can get some bubbles. First, we'll get some swirls, of course. And then a couple seconds later, we'll get some bubbles after that. So we've got two sets of bubbles right here. All right, let's go out here. I went way too far. It's all right, I can just reel it up here. It's about to where the bubbles are at. I'm gonna let it drop. And it should turn red if it's there and it's not there. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit more because there was two sets of bubbles out there. I'll let it drop. Now the, let's see how fast that one turned red. That might be it. However, it could be the, I believe it's the chestnut. Um, that's not going to be it. I'm going to let it go. It's just the octopus there. Um, it also turns red pretty quickly on the octopus while you're waiting for it to drop down to the bottom. We do have We have another set of bubbles just over... Oops. Way too far over to the right. Let's go there. And uh, it could have been a little bit farther. It didn't turn red. I'm going to go ahead and just reset. Hard expert. We'll get some swirls out there, and then we'll get some bubbles afterwards. So I don't see any swirls, so maybe we'll just get bubbles. We got another set of bubbles over here again. One, two, three. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in the video. Um, I don't see any other bubbles. But again, this map is hard to see the bubbles on. So I'm going to cast out there. There are some about there. Not an instant line, red line. I'm gonna cast out a little bit farther. There's some pretty close to that. That was pretty close to instant. So when it's instant on, when it's down on the bottom, you're gonna want, want your bait to go all the way down to the bottom. And that's not it because it's gonna it's gonna be a long run. It's gonna be a fast run. And I need to go a little bit farther out and a little bit farther to the right. <laughs> There, that was a little bit better cast. 
That's closer. We'll see if it turns red instantly. Eh, that might be. Could also be that common octopus again. We'll see. Yeah, just a small splash. It didn't run. It's going to be another octopus. Too hard expert. I'm going to keep doing this until I get the epic on my line. And I'll be looking for some bubbles. And I'll bring you back as soon as I get something on there. Some bubbles right here. Barely can see them. Cast her way past them. That's closer. Okay, that was a pretty quick red line. Turned red just before it hit the bottom. Got a nice takeoff. We'll see how hard it is to bring in. Um, these do come in. If you have the epic on there, they do come in like a shark. Very slowly. Uh, if they come in really fast, uh, then you probably have the chestnut octopus on there. However, this is coming in slow enough that I think we have it on here. It will jump. Oh, there he is. So there you go. And it took probably about another... Oh, I'd say about another eight refreshes by the time I finally caught it. Interesting enough, I when I was preparing for this, just double checking my method, which I like to do before I start recording. I caught two of them back to back without doing a refresh, so I thought, man, they're pretty common today. And then it took me about ten refreshes to find this guy. <laughs> Eight to ten, he said. <laughs> so yeah. Sometimes you have good days, sometimes you have bad days. I mean, that's not too bad. I think I've spent probably roughly 10 minutes trying to find it. So, if even that. So, yeah, not too bad. They do take a long time to bring in. So, I would just catch these guys just for... Just for fun, just to put them in your tank, but... If you're trying to get on the leaderboard or anything like that, these are definitely not the fish to go after. <laughs> these take forever to bring in. So. But if you're one of those leaderboard players, then you probably have your own methods that you use to try to stay up top there. And you know that you don't go after these giant, huge fish when you're trying to get on that leaderboard. Almost here. There we go. Yeah, that's a pretty good size one. That's my personal best. There we go. Yep, I've got four of them now. So, yeah, just, just a few to put in my fish tank. I don't have a whole lot of them. So, there it is. The giant octopus. Or, giant squid. Giant octopus is uh, another video. So, alright. Well, there you have it. There's how you catch the the next two epics on location two and location three. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button so you can see more tips and tricks like this in the future. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.